welcome to my series of videos of all my automotive projects. Hello and welcome to my 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004 gym car. And I say that because we don't really know what year it is. The EPA sticker says 01, the papers say 02, and I think somewhere I read it was an 04. But anyways, this thing, it's a classified as a neighborhood electric vehicle. Top speed of 27 miles an hour with me in it. Wide open throttle, so good for neighborhoods and stuff. It's fully electric. It has six batteries, a 72 volt system. Under the hood, it has two AGM batteries, about 100 amp hours a piece. Siren bullhorn and speaker system so I can talk to people and play different sounds and that kind of thing. It has a speaker in it for a radio and I use it to drive around my neighborhood so it's not registered or tagged but as you can see by this sticker you can get it registered, tagged, plated and inspected just like you would a normal car insured to, insured to, insured to and you can drive it on a road in Texas that's up to 45 mile an hour speed limit. Wouldn't recommend it given that it only goes 27. But a special thing about this vehicle is that it has a supercharger in it. This vehicle was originally equipped with a 12 amp 72 volt DC Zivian charger. Now it's equipped with a 25 amp QBT 220 volt charger. So I plug it in to 220 volts and then plug the original charger in and this thing charges up extremely fast. You, and it does have about 30, 35 miles of range with wide open throttle and it charges up probably and completely dead in about three to five hours depending on different conditions and temperature and all that mess. But not only that, but this charger has, a, a, it's a smart charger. So that means it knows when to turn itself on and off to protect the batteries. But it also charges them up a lot higher than the Zivian charger. And that's kind of bad for the batteries, but it's great for range. Because it stays at 100% for about an hour's worth of driving at about 15, 20 miles an hour average. So it's a very nice system to have. And if you happen to look into one of these, they're still made today by Polaris. A long time ago, they were made by a company called Jim and that was headed up by Chrysler and I think Mercedes-Benz was part of it too and then a bunch of other people were part of it and they made these things but they still made today like I said by Polaris and if you, you get yourself one you look up on the internet for a cheap electric car 72 volt charger and you can wire it into the original charger and it works great and this thing will actually burn the tires it won't burn them, but it'll, it'll slip them quite a bit. And you can do, uh, you can't do J turns, but you can do handbrake turns and that kind of thing. I beat it up pretty good. Like, I mean, you see the doors missing off of it. But it, one of the, it was an optional to have a door. So, yeah, door missing it. Not a big deal. I, I crashed into a tree. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I beat it up pretty bad. And these things are tough. Thanks for joining me. And I hope you have a good day. If you want to see the wiring diagram for the charger, just check out the description. Have a good day. Thank you.